and welcome back to Chess Brain. The Broadmoor is a forever special place. It's where Brandon and I came together right after he proposed. What was I thinking in this outfit? Oh my god. And last year we brought Carmi here for her first out of town overnight. So, when our getaway plans to Palm Springs fell through last month and we were dying to still take a breather, we hopped in Brandon's adored Ford and hit the road. Beep beep! It's Carmi party coming through. <laughs> Look, I play high. Look, I play high. That's right. Woo! Woo! All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Tomato, This place never ceases to help me feel still, calm, appreciated, and appreciative. Hi, Carmi! <laughs> Until Brandon got food poisoning and was violently ill for 16 hours in the hotel room while I and Carmi ate, drank, and enjoyed ourselves leisurely. Just kidding. These photos were from right before he fell dramatically ill. And don't worry, I was waiting at his bedside minute after minute, helping him through it until we were in the clear to drive back home. And I'll be coming home. And you'll be going strong. And I know there is a reason Now we're ready to be home Yeah, ready to be home Back to reality, where Brandon's focus became the draft and Carmi's sleep patterns became mine. About a month ago, Carmi started pushing back significantly on nap time and bedtime. A part of it seemed to kind of be her lack of tiredness, so we shortened, removed the naps, and that seemed to do the trick for a little bit. But then she got a cold and her molars started coming in, and all the normal routines that usually bring smiles were suddenly a little tougher. Some nights, they were a lot tougher. It caught us off guard. She's been a quote-unquote good sleeper, something you hear about before you're a parent and then you get there and you definitely understand what it means whichever side of the coin you're on. So anyways, when our good little sleeper fluctuates, it's challenging for us to adjust. But we try, because that is all we really know how to do. And I'll be home. With tears still fresh upon their cheeks, a mother and her daughter seek the comfort of each other's touch as they lay down to rest and such. Emotions high, their hearts are raw, the weight of life a heavy draw, but in this moment they can find a respite from the daily grind. Wrapped up tight in each other's arms, they let go of all the harms that plague them both throughout the day and all the words they couldn't say. Their breathing slows and they drift away into the night where dreams start to play. And though the world may still be tough, together we are strong enough. For in each other we find peace, a love that will never cease. And as we sleep, a gentle snore, a bond that's deeper than before. I'm too tired to sleep, too tired to do anything else than doing nothing. I'm too never really co-slept together. Even when she was a newborn, I had her in her crib. And oftentimes then, I would sleep on her floor, so no wonder this last month has incited some nostalgia. I can honestly say that I found a way to make it work for me. This sleeping on her floor, sleeping with her in her room. For one, I choose to believe that it's not permanent, it's just a phase, and that's helped me enjoy these nights with her a little bit more. And number two is, I have a lot of help here in the day. Between Brandon and my mom, if I don't sleep well at night with Carmi, which I usually do, then they just relieve me in the morning and I take a quick nap. Or a long nap, because it's me. I find myself looking forward to those quiet moments beneath the glow of her blue light with her little hands running through my hair as I wait for her to fall asleep. And then when she's asleep, I sneak out of her room for game night. We are about to do a little Resident Evil 5. Shiva and Chris, baby. Oh my God. <coughs> are you up here with me or not? No. 
You're I, not with me? I couldn't, I couldn't come up there with you. I, why didn't you warn me that I was going to be up here alone? Because that would be funny. <laughs> oh my god. My brother and I have been playing Resident Evil 5, and holy shit, that game is intense and fun and hard and scary. <laughs> Oh my god, I really- these are- these are these these are the ones I- I hate. These ones kind of like make me cry a little bit in my head. <laughs> I really don't like these guys. How was your week? Drop a heart below in the comments if you've made it until the end, and thanks for stopping in to this week's Just Bring. Hit that notification button please so you don't miss my posts, and we'll see you guys soon. P.S. Don't forget to call your moms this weekend. Hey. What's going on in here? Where are you guys? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I didn't expect that.